So today I'm going to show you how you can do un uh, unsupervised classification and uh, in, um, it does imagine 2014. So as you can see, this one is the stack image that I have uh, stacked previously. Now, uh, what we have to do, just go to raster and unsupervised, then unsupervised classification. That is raster, unsupervised and unsupervised classification. If you click here, you will find this input file. If it is not the input file that is stacked file, then just choose the stack file as it is already stacked file. So I'm not doing anything. Now uh, output file, you have to give a location to output file. Suppose I'm saving here as supervised. Click on OK. Now there are few things like k means k means is basically the method by which you are going to classify number of class that is pixel values that uh, in this image are containing we are going to classify we are going to divide the all the uh, pixel values into some parts and how many parts are there i'm going to take how many parts that is six parts so I'm going to do it for six parts. You can do it for several parts, 10, 20 parts, 20 parts, according uh, as you need. Now, let's uh, go to the maximum iteration. That means how many iteration uh, do you want? Just keep it 10 and then click on. Okay. Okay. So, if you see, a process is going on. Let it complete. It will be having 10 iteration. Okay, so now it is completed. Now just uh, right click when the raster layer and look at the file output file that we have saved and here it is unsupervised okay so this is unsupervised now just remove it and see this one is the unsupervised image you can go to multispectral and adjust radio image of this uh, unsupervised okay so just go to unsupervised See, if you selecting stacking, it is multispectral, so add, adjust radiometry is possible. Now, if you go to unsupervised, it's thematic, so you can't use the radiometry option. Now, what is actually this and why this is required? So, if you right click in unsupervised, display attribute table. This one is the important one display the attribute table. So this one, see, there are some color coding over here, and you have uh, divided it into six classes. That's why it is having six classes from uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, this is the default class. This is the background actually. So one, two, three, four, five, six. There are six classes, and they are color coded. But first of all. For comparison, let's open another one. A new review. Now right click on here and find the stack file. That is the original file. Okay, so if I just go to stack file, this is stack image file. And uh, fit to frame. See, this one is the 
actual stack file and if you see this one is the actually uh, the unsupervised one now just looking at this image you have to compare the location and identify the object so if you just select this and multi spectral if you just check whether it is fcc or true color composition just go for the true color composition suppose so in true color composition layer 3 then layer 2 then layer 1 okay this one is the true color comp okay wait layer 2 and layer 1 okay one one thing just go to fcc okay, layer this one is the fcc color and you can see this red portion in fcc or the false color composition the red color indicates the vegetation now here if you see this red one just right uh, just click over here and suppose make it yellow see if you look at this reservoir over here and if you compare these are red portion here these are red portion so according to the comparison you can say this red portion you already know these are fcc color so this is vegetation and here the yellow color that you have just written just uh, uh, converted this yellow color is actually showing the vegetation so vegetation color just give any color that, that is dark green so all the dark green color that is this row is actually showing vegetation so name it as vegetation Okay. Now, if you see, there are few more colors which are nearly red here. See, if you just change the color to yellow, yellow is uh, I'm doing yellow because it is more vibrant, and you can actually compare it. See, these are also vegetations. So again, name it as vegetation. vegetation and change the color to dark green too. See, it's a vegetation. Now, again, from here, if you see, this one is also the vegetation. Okay, because there are all the red patches over here. So, again, name it vegetation. Uh, okay, so this one is the previous one. Just you have to select by via this okay so for this one i'm talking about this one so if you just red one see this these are actually see these are actually red that means vegetation so just dark green and name it vegetation. you just have to compare both now if you see this type of color just find this color right this one select it and change to yellow see from the comparison you can see this one is the reservoir and this one is the also the reservoir but it is color in uh, yellow so change the color after identifying it is the reservoir or the water change the color to suppose blue and name it water body What about it? Okay. Now there are two more colors. Th that is this one. Convert it into red, yellow, and compare it. Try to compare it. So now from here, if you just look at this portion, these are vegetation, but these are light vegetation. See, from the comparison, the yellow portion, these are light vegetation. So Suppose it is light green, convert it light green and see light vegetation. And there are uh, there is another color. You can see this portion. From here, 
to just check. There are some red patches that is vegetation, light vegetation. If you compare these two, the light vegetation and some dark red patches that is dense vegetation. But there are few more places left over. These are fellow line. Okay, so you can keep brown to those colors and write. Okay. So this is all I have. now see this one is the image that is unsupervised image and you have classified all the color combinations by comparing both the images. Okay. So if you just go to uh, metadata. is taking some time okay. so if you just go to metadata and this graph will find these are blocks like structures okay but if you go in stacking or metadata this one not stack this one is not a uh, block wise division okay so this, this is the total uh, unsupervised classification and this one is attribute table so thank you